Hello, it's me, Bob, Bilbo, Bob, and today I am doing a tutorial. It's my first video in a while since I've done them raiding videos. Uh, so, yeah, right. Um, so, pretty much, I'm going to show you in this area here how to build a turret wall. Now, the turret wall I'm going to show you can be altered for to make an entrance, but I'm going to be building it as if say you were in a base that had multiple entrances and you only wanted once this turret wall, turret wall would be perfect for blocking off an entire entrance so that's what i'm gonna do i'm building on the this little cave in rag uh yes i'm in creative mode as you probably noticed uh and i can't jump either for some reason there we go see i'm building this little cave in rag you probably know where it is it's in the highlands just as a demonstration um I know this works because I've actually built it on my server uh, that I play on with some with some tribe mates of mine, some friends. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you in creative because I'm not building another turret wall for no reason for the purposes of a, of a tutorial. So I'm just going to do this instead. So the way this is this works is it's a turret wall, but it's been built I spent an entire day just literally thinking like designing and building this to make it so you can't flak run it well you probably could but not very easy but let's get started so gonna block off the entrance I will show an altered version that you have a small like doorway entrance in or something but for now I'm gonna block off the entrance so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using pillars because it's turret wall you know you're gonna need pillars to make the actual wall well you don't have to but that's how i would do it personally you might find t pillars are a very expensive way seeing as they cost as much as walls and cover less than half the space but i find them personally to be a lot more better because i don't know it's just personal opinion or something i guess right obviously i'm doing this in creative which means i can fly but even if you weren't uh, you could just get on like a tame or something and you'd get it done. Um, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do now, what I've already started doing, is I'm going to completely seal off this row with the actual wall itself and I'll start adding the extra things to it. I am going to have to make an entrance in actually for while I'm building it. So I will demolish this. Can I fit through here? Yeah. So this will just be temporary. I might put the wall, the turret, um, pillar sorry back after but for now we'll just leave it like that right now what I'm gonna oh so what you gotta do when building this turret when building these pillars there are two ways I'll actually show you this before I finish the, off the turret wall um or the pillar part anyway so there are two ways you can do this so you can do it like this so you get a gap like this that you can't fit through or you can do it like that where you get a gap that you can fit through. Obviously you're going to want a gap that you can't fit through, otherwise people could just run right through it. So what you got to do is, you got to build the turret. Say you wanted the turret wall going that way, yeah? Like this one. You can't build it, so it would be building out to your right or your left, because it would be like that. What you got to do, is you got to build it, so it's building out, so it's building back towards you or away from you, that's how you get smaller. Cause if you remember I was here, left left and right, big enough for a player to fit through, but forward and back are not. So that's just so you know, understand how that works, because it took me a while to figure that one out. Right, I'm going to build the rest of this up, and I will get back to you after I've got this little part completed so I can show you what to do next. Right, I'm back. So, as you can see, I've built this whole thing up. Obviously, there's this little gap here that I'll probably fix at some point when I decide to... Hang on, I can just put that there, can't I? Now, if you're wanting to build an entrance to I'll get on f about building an entrance before I continue building, what you're going to want to do... It's going to want to pretty much have a little side area like this that you can just put a foundation on, like that. And you can just put like a doorway and some walls and all that stuff. I'll actually get some of that stuff. 
Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the door frame scan. Don't need it. Right, hang on. That's not going to work, is it? This is just like an example, but you'd need to like do something like this. And then if I were to put a double door frame here, but I'm too lazy to get a double door frame out, you could then do that and you could put a roof on top of there and you wouldn't it would be just as good as the rest of the turret wall but i'm not going to do that because the way i'm building this is so i would be putting a pillar here by the time i'm finishing so quite quickly just do this little bit here won't take too long oh that's not connected there we go now you got you want to make sure they go up all the way to the top really even if there's not much of a gap you want to make it go up to the top because otherwise if you leave too much of a gap because it will become habit leaving a gap and the gap will get bigger and bigger at the top and if you leave too much of a gap someone could get through with a trend on that they've spec for speeds not speed but if they've just put all the if they've put all the levels into health um they could just probably with a decent sample just go through there like barrel roll through there so this is the actual wall itself the next part is not going to be the turret spot what you might think the next part is vaults because uh, we had a turret wall similar to um any if you've ever seen any base tour i mean i did have a base down here in this area previously if you look at that or anything that i've ever done all my turret walls are exactly the same which are just rows of ceilings like this with turrets on and it goes all the way up or as far as i want it to go but problem with that turns out is that if it is if it's placed poorly like i did last time you can flak run it well i'm not 100 percent sure if they did successfully flak run it because there are about 80 turrets on that wall but i'm not going to go into detail point is i built a turret wall or designed a turret wall that can't be flak run so that's what i'm going to be building today the other one is just pretty simple you just put i mean the other part i'll be showing you anyway this is just like a separate part so obviously you can't place vaults on walls all right let's see how i'm going to do this so obviously on my server i did this differently because it works differently but apparently on this you can stick vaults there that's interesting I did not know that one, but we won't be doing that because that's a terrible idea. What we will, well, yeah, because the bottom bit's exposed and we don't want anything exposed. What we're going to do is, what I would have done on my server, because the um, settings are a bit different, we should have structures to go into each other, is I would place these foundations inside the pillars, but I'm aware that a lot of people don't have those same luxuries, so I've, and so I've set this up like an any other server would be so if i can get that to work great if not then i'll do something different but it looks like that works bear in mind this is set up the same way any other server would so there is a snap point down here but if i'm not going by the snap point what i'm doing is i'm trying to go up to it like that and if you get the right spot you can build that so that's what I'm doing. So that's what you can do as well. Didn't expect that to let me do that, actually. I had it planned out that I was going to build something out here. But this is a lot better because it's a lot more compact. Which means the turrets, it, turrets can shoot at a better angle downwards. Right, next job is to put vaults on. Now I'm going to put vaults all along here. Because vaults, as you know, are extremely, extremely, extremely strong and that way you won't be able to turret you won't be able to flak run the wall because you've got to break these first and it would take a lot of c4 and you'd be there forever meaning it wouldn't be worth it to, turret, to flak run it but just in case i'm going to add something a little extra so trying to line it up if you can see in the left corner i, I do like to get it lined up a bit because that's purely presentation but that's me for you. I've got I've got OCD. I have a feeling with this game, like when we're in our tribe, like and, and my tribe on rag, I'd normally be playing on. If everything isn't all lined up nice and neatly, I get all my my OCD flares up, and my inventory is also really clean. So yeah, but I like things to be nice looking. So yeah, 
They are slightly wonky, but honestly, that really doesn't matter. That's just me finding something to talk about while I do this. So, yeah. Um, right, now last bit. The last bit's interesting, because if you want an entrance here, obviously you can't build the final vault, can you? Because it'll cover the entrance. And I want to be able to get through here. So I can get through to my base that isn't actually here. But it looks like I can't do that with that foundation there. So I need to demolish it. Not this one. Oh, I turn this into a block. Yeah, it's this one. Alright. Now I can fit through here. So this is only if you want like an actual entrance into it. Obviously I'm building this design for multiple entrance caves, which there are quite a few of. And it comes in quite handy. Um, but even as a, like a single entrance cave, you can still use this tile wall, just alter it a little bit. Right, now, now that this bit's done, there's no way they can explode this with all the turret shooting down on them. But, just in case, just to make life harder, because I'm a terrible person, I put spike walls down. Because these spike walls will make it very hard to play C4. Because I'm not sure how you, how you, if you can play C4 on spikes. But if you don't know, every time you move close to spikes, they have a little knockback thing. So it's possible you might just place it next to it instead of on it by accident. In which case, which is very possible if you're getting shot by so many turrets and you've got two seconds to do it. Which is literally how long you'd have. So it's very possible to make a mistake and drop it next to it. In which case, when you set it off... It will not do as much damage. And it's only a spike anyway, not the actual vaults or turret wall itself. So I'm going to place this here. But then that's it, because I want to give myself room to get through here so I can continue building the wall. Alright, the next bit is the actual parts for the turrets to sit on. So, obviously, I can't do it close to the floor. Because there's this stuff here, so I'll do it up above here, which does have its benefits, building your turret wall slightly further up. Meaning you're more likely to be able to shoot someone off their rock golem or trike or whatever they're trying to soak on. So that's what we're going to do. Start with, we are going to get out some of these things. The, I don't know what they're even called. Hatch frames and ladders, sorry I had a bit of a brain fart there. So what you're going to do first is put you all down wherever you want it remember this section as the section where you put your first wall down because everything's going to work off that and i'll show you what i mean so then you place your ladder here and you consider this going up for each layer you build as the first wall you've built and i'll explain why in a minute you want to get them to snap exactly onto each other not just like i did there where there was one a bit, little bit above, you've got to do it exactly on point. See? You don't want that. What you want is this, so it lines perfectly, because otherwise it'll be a lot harder running from turret to turret, putting all the ammo in when you're, like, when you need to put ammo in them. Right now, obviously a ladder, because you want to be able to climb up to each wall. Obviously there's going to be nothing on here, and depending on... Right, you want this, when building your next one, you want it to be exactly, so you could fit a wall in here, pretty much. See, it's on point for you to fit a wall in. It is that accurate. So it's exactly one part high. And for measuring it one part high, you look here. If it is anything above, you'll be able to tell, because it is like that. It might seem obvious, it might not seem obvious, and it might seem obvious at some points, but... You see here, this goes just over your head, these bars here, but these ones go a lot more over your head. See? That's that, and then that's this bar. You can see the difference. And then obviously when it's too low, if I can get one of it being too low, I can't, but if I could, I would show you the if it's too low, if it's any lower than... Oh, I've got to demolish this one. If it's any lower than this, because it's obviously one piece high, you will not be able to walk under it. You'll have to crouch, which can make life ten times harder when trying to refill turrets. It's also better for symmetry. Right, 
And if you're not sure, this is how I'm building this, but if you're not sure that they're all aligned, you can always go and check. See, you can see they're clearly all aligned. Now, this is obviously going to take a lot of resources to make on the server that I want. It's a lot easier because the resource gathering rate is boosted. But at the end of the day, you want good defenses, you're going to have to fork out for it. So let's place another ladder so I can get up to the second row. Now, um, am I going to build turrets on this row or not? Let's think. Thing is, with putting these spikes here, is they'll be good for stopping people from C4ing, but they might make it harder for turrets to shoot down. Obviously, you can't hide behind these because you get bumped off, but I'm also going to be putting turrets down here to shoot you, so you can't do that. Um, but do I want to put turrets on the second row because it's just above the vaults, but parts of the spikes still overtake it? Yes, I will because it's not enough. There aren't enough spikes in the way to stop them from being any use in shooting. So I'm going to consider the second level as my first level, my first actual level. From there, remember, you got to build it here, and it's got to be exactly just like that. So you know exactly that it's exactly one piece above you. Because that helps with keeping everything, like, a lot simpler. Because when you're, you might not think crouching down is much of an issue, but if you're in a rush, you might not think about it, and you might start to panic, and especially if you're in the middle of a raid or something. So, or in the middle of being raiders. So I'm going to do, for the purpose of this, about three three rows. You can fit, if you do this, you can fit 100. You can have this going as high as you want. You can have this going right to the ceiling if you have the resources for it. But I've never had more than five rows, I think, on a turret wall. And that was back when I had this area, actually. I built one along there that was about four or five rows high, I think. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah. So building out, build out the same length as well. I mean, that's, again really my OCD talking more than anything else but if you build out a bit more build out exactly you can place like roughly the same amount of turrets on each row and that makes it a lot easier like counting for how many turrets you have on each row so you know you know what you're doing with what it might make things easier in the long run you'll actually be surprised but it, it, it does for me right now I'm gonna go have a look how many have I placed Right, three rows there that you can place turrets on. I'm going to place turrets on these three rows, that's it. Because I don't have a need. I mean, that's what... 20, 10, 15 per row. Anywhere between 40 and 60 turrets, I reckon, I could fit on that wall. Just those three rows alone. And you could have this going really high. So you can fit a lot of turrets on here. Now I'm going to... Yes, I noticed I named my character Bilbo Bobs, by the way, even though it's literally just one I literally just spawned in now, but, you know, for purposes of, I don't know, something. Um, right, turrets. I'm going to use normal turrets, which you might think is a bit odd, because, like, if you've got all this stuff, you've probably got the stuff to make heavy turrets. And yes, that's true, but I'm choosing t normal turrets for multiple reasons. First reason being... Is you're going to be putting a lot of turrets on these walls. You could put, like, on this wall alone, you can put 100 plus turrets easy. Maybe even 200. So you can put a lot, or maybe not 200, but you can put over 100 on this wall, I imagine. So it's going to be, like, a lot of turrets. So it might be a lot easier to make normal turrets instead of heavy turrets. So that's one reason I'm doing this. Second reason I use normal turrets is because normal turrets only take one turret only take one bullet per shot, whereas heavy turrets take four. So it's a lot takes you a lot more time to soak normal turrets than it would heavy turrets, which makes it a lot better for like if someone's trying to soak your base and raid you when you're offline or anything. A lot less likely to. Now what I'm actually gonna do um I'll place the first row and then so I'll show you how I do it and then the rest I'll just do myself. This is even the first row. Yeah. Right, so what I do, I place one in each gap, yeah? Because if you place one in each gap, it will look like you'll have... That, that's, the, that's how you fit the most amount of turrets per row. 
You might think it's not a great idea having all these turrets in such close proximity, because if one blows up, chances are it's a lot easier to blow a lot more up. But, so this many turrets shooting, and that's another thing to know actually. Uh, blah. Normal turrets are a lot better at shooting down RPGs than heavy turrets are. They're a lot more effective at it, and they're a lot more quicker at it. So if you're using normal turrets, you're a lot less likely to get your turrets blown up by an RPG than if you're using heavy turrets. And if, obviously, um, heavy turrets deal more damage, but they don't deal four times as much damage. And they do take four times as much ammo per shot. So as you can see, what I've done is in each gap for each thing, for each pillar, I've placed a turret. And I'm able to access this turret, mess around with all its settings, put ammo in it and all that stuff just from here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to build the generator. So I'll get the stuff for that and I'll be right back. Right, so got everything I need to make a gasoline, all the stuff I need for the generator. Unfortunately, I had to go and literally go mine the oil because I don't know this one code for the gasoline, so yippee. Right, I'm doing, for the generator, I'm not doing anything too special. Obviously, you could have it hooked up in a base or something, but I'm just doing whatever. Because, you know, I don't really, I'm not too bothered about it. Typically, the chances of your generator being perfectly lined up with your turret wall are pretty unlikely. So, you could consider yourself lucky if they are. Now, it doesn't matter too much how close the cables are to the turret wall as long as they are behind the turret wall because when you got turrets on there you're barely going to even see the turrets let alone shoot them because you'll be yourself getting shot by the turrets so you won't have the chance to that's assuming you even see where they are which is pretty unlikely so now i'm going to place a junction box one here so we'll get everything and one here so we'll also get everything then I'll come back, and I'm going to go and do the rest of these turret walls, the rest of these, um, the rest of the rows, sorry. And then I will get back to you. Right, I'm back. So, here we go, all these turrets on the turret wall. Um, how many have I got in total? Uh, I've got 36, you can add four more to that list because I'm going to, well maybe not four, but some, because I'm going to put some down here because they will stop anybody from hiding under here. I'm not going to bother putting any ammo into these because obviously they're never going to have any purpose, but you can split the ammo up as you like, like a thousand in each. Just had some time to go and get some, make some gasoline, which was painful because it was completely unnecessary. Right, so now Obviously, these turrets won't have turned on, so I've got to turn them on manually. I will show you me going to every row turning them on. Because, you know what, I'm boring like that. Um, so, what, so what you could do, obviously, is when you're turning on your turrets, there's a lot of stuff you can do, like with the um, copy settings stuff. That makes life ten times easier. So I used to be, if I wanted my turrets on a different mode other than medium, I'd have to go and I would individually turn every single turret and it was painful. So yeah, actually I'll, you probably can't even hear what I'm saying because these turrets are turning on so loud. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn all these on then I'll be back. Right, I'm back again. So everything's been turned on now. Um, as you can see, I'm going to actually give myself these level ups because they're probably annoying some people having that on the screen. Right, so as you can see, I've got my generator running all my turrets. They're all in range of the junk boxes, or junction boxes, and as you can see here, there are no, you can't even see the wires. I mean, even going this high, you can barely see them. No way you're going to see that with all the gunfire. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to put any ammo in these, because, you know, too lazy, but don't need to as well so if i were doing this as if i will actually do a example for if if i can for if 
I I'm gonna need double doors, aren't I, for this? Yeah, that's something you might need double doors. Single doors might not be good enough. But now obviously you have the choice of putting the wall here or not. I am going to put a wall there because you know better safe than sorry. And that like that is your version that anyone that you can enter. So this is how you'd want your cave base to look or not your cave base, this is how you want your turret wall to look if you want someone if you want to be able to enter through it. If you if you if it bleh. If it's a single entrance base, this is what you want your tower all to look like. Of course, I'm designing it to be for multi-entrance caves, so I don't need any of this bit here. But this is all you need to do if you want it to be multi-entrance. But I don't want... I don't, if you want to be able to enter through it. But I don't want to be able to enter through it, because it's not going to be multi-entrance. So what I'm going to do is complete the... Turret, the um, vault thing. Obviously, this saying, these sayings, I'm pretty sure are the sayings of a normal server, more or less. So I think I'm able to do that in a normal server. If not, you can just change it. And if you can't clip them on for whatever reason, remember what the other thing I said was? Where well, you just snap them on at the bit. Of course, at the down there, but of course, that would mean these turrets, these um, vaults would be out a bit. And this all this would be a little bit further along but doesn't matter at the end of the day same thing same idea i think i've got a bit of an echo so apologies if anybody hears that right i think that's everything this is my turret wall it looks very nice um you can't turret run it because obviously you know good luck flak running that um yeah that's everything. This is what I believe to be the best turret wall ever. I haven't seen one better than this. This is very egotistical of me, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion. I hope this video hasn't dragged on. I hope it's been useful. See you in the next video.